Oh my god, Teddy, do you see who that is? Do you see who that is? It's your fans, they came to check you out on YouTube. Hey guys, my name is Sam and this is my dog, Ted. Ted is about 12 years old and he actually spent the first five years of his life in animal testing. So about three months ago, we hopped onto TikTok and decided to start talking about animal testing. And yeah, it's, it's kind of taken off. I mean, we only have like 330,000 fans right now, but I expect that number to grow because animal testing is really important and something that a lot of people don't talk about. And Gen Z will be the generation to change everything. Because I mean, look at this face. Who could hurt this for five years? All right, so let's talk about what is animal testing? There's many forms of animal testing. There's cosmetic, there's like chemical animal testing, which includes a lot of like household cleaning products. There's medical animal testing. This guy was in either cosmetic or chemical animal testing. His vet was able to verify this with us because we were noticing some like lesions on his skin and discoloration in his eyes. And we ran a ton of tests to make sure it was like nothing with his health and yeah. It wasn't anything with his health. It literally was just um, signs of animal testing. Okay, honestly, short form video with a dog is usually easier. Um, I'm not sure how long he will sit on my lap for this. I'm gonna put him down, but he'll be back. He'll be back by the end, I promise. Well, there you go, buddy. Ugh. <sighs> He's like very warm. Like my body is now very, very warm from that. Okay, back to animal testing though. So yes, cosmetic or chemical, um, on his back he has these like little like lesions, I was saying. They look almost tumor-like and it, it really stressed me out when I first got him because I was like, does he have like a medical problem? Does he have cancer? That's exactly where my head went actually because like my first dog, Reggie, he was just a shelter dog, a rescue dog. Lab Shepherd Collie Mix, I miss him so much. He died when I was in like high school, I was like 14. But he was my childhood dog and he had like these big bumps all over his body as he got older. So when I adopted Ted, I was naturally like, oh my God, he has these, these bumps to see if cancer. He doesn't have cancer. Very healthy dog actually. He actually went in last week to get a dental and his teeth are very clean now. But these lesions are signs of animal testing. Animal testing is not just putting makeup on dogs and many other animals too. I am primarily focusing on animal testing in beagles because I have a beagle and beagles are the most tested dog. They're the most tested breed because they're docile and forgiving. Super messed up, but back to things. It is literally like cutting holes into their skin and putting the product into their skin. It's putting it into their eyes, giving them chemical burned eyes. I've talked about tampons. I feel like I need to make a whole nother video on that, but I find tampons to be one of the nastiest ways of animal testing ever. So yeah, that's the type of animal testing that he had done to him. It wasn't just medical animal testing. There are different signs for medical animal testing. And while dogs are known to mostly be used for medical testing, there are still a ton of dogs in cosmetic and chemical animal testing. And I don't just say like cosmetic, I like really like to say cosmetic and chemical because I do believe, like the reason why I am cruelty free is one, because of the dog, but I'm not gonna make my beauty hurt an animal. And I think it's kind of the same thing. Like if I'm using bleach, like I know that that was tested on an animal and that hurt an animal. And the only benefit is like, it's making my house pretty and clean and like, safe for me but for my benefit that's just like i don't know i just can't wrap my head around like animal testing for my benefit now when it comes to being vegan that's a whole nother situation um i do not eat vegan i actually had a uh, kind of an eating disorder for a very very long time i make a joke out of it now i'm just not ready to like fully dive into that yet but because of this i can't just like cut certain foods out of my diet so i do not eat vegan for that reason but i am very proud of anyone who does eat vegan but i want to tell you the story on how i adopted ted and i feel like this isn't a very common story for many reasons the first reason is the easiest way to adopt a beagle out of animal testing is through the Beagle Freedom Project. They are a nonprofit organization. Um, they save a ton of beagles every single year out of animal testing labs and put them into amazing households. So if you're looking to get a beagle out of animal testing, that is the way to go. But I did not get Ted through the Beagle Freedom Project. So I went to school in Boston at a college called Mount Etta College. This college had a veterinary technician program and that program was able to rescue, I don't know, like 20 something, maybe a little more, 
beagles out of animal testing. They brought these beagles to campus and they had like a veterinary tech lab. So essentially they had like cages for everyone. I think all the vet students maybe were like assigned to a beagle. And then they had like an outdoor grassy area for the beagles to play. I remember my first time walking past all the beagles. I was like, oh, they're so cute. Had no idea what was going on with that situation. But I'm just gonna fast forward. The animal testing lab, they saved them from, obviously they were doing some cruel and inhumane testing. They put them into this educational facility. The educational facility, Mount Etta College, um, the veterinary tech students, you know, they gave them love. I'm, I'm not mad at them at all. They did save them from a very unfortunate situation, but they would like, you know, learn how to cut nails and do all of that because they're trying to go into the vet world to help dogs. And these lab dogs were already so trained to be chill as heck. So it was like a merge of those two programs and whatever. But our college campus decided one day to just close down. They had no funding and they were like, yeah, we're just, we're closing down. Everyone get off campus. So that's what we did. Everyone left campus. But we did get an email that said beagles were $50. So you filled out a really quick application and literally within like 20 minutes, I was approved for one of these beagles. I was actually the last one approved. So I show up to the lab and there's no beagles there except for one. It was this guy. So they were like, okay, we only have one beagle left. He's a male. He's like either five or seven years old. I was like five or seven. They were like, yeah, he has like three different birth certificates. We really don't know his age. I was like, all right, let me see him. So they put him on the floor and I'm like, come here, baby. This guy runs away, runs away. Bolts the other direction, like Scooby-Doo running, does not want me. I look at him and I'm like, you're coming home with me. So what did I do? I paid the $50 and I took him home. His name was Pluto when I first adopted him. This guy does not look like a Pluto. I was gonna rename him Zeus. And then after realizing he is literally like a loaf of bread, I decided Ted was perfect. It's like the perfect couch potato name. The perfect doggy name for the perfect doggy. So I bring Ted home and I'm going to be completely honest. I was still in college. This guy, he hung out with me all through college. He came to my classes. He would put on cute little like matching theme outfits at our, our pre-games. And I went to a very small school, so our pre-games were like five people in a room. Don't worry, I wouldn't stress him out like that. We literally called him D for dog. I was in a sorority called DeFi. Yeah, so we called him D for dog. This guy was very well known on campus. But then I graduated and I moved off college campus. I moved to South Florida. Ted is now a retired Florida dog. What a perfect place for you to retire. You know that? And for four years, that first four years that I had him, I didn't even know what animal testing was. I knew that he was in a testing lab, but I was ignorant and I didn't Google it. And about a year ago, I saw a video that popped up on my TikTok about animal testing and I was completely horrified. I was one of the ignorant people that literally just thought they put makeup and like did his nails. I never realized it was so much more and so inhumane. So I started slowly getting rid of all of my non-cruelty free items and I used something called use it then lose it because it is really important not to waste products. Like the animal was already tested on, you already hurt the animal, so finish that product. So I finished a product and I would get rid of it and I would cycle in a new cruelty-free product. And I'll do another video featuring all of my favorite cruelty-free brands. Everyone on TikTok's always like, what do you use for toothpaste? What do you use for detergent? What do you use for makeup? Girls, I'm coming. I'm coming, girls. I'm gonna make you all cruelty-free mamas, just like me. So yeah, since then we've just been really advocating on TikTok as to like why people should be using cruelty-free cosmetics. And really just teaching people that animal testing is not just like putting makeup on dogs. It's extremely disgusting and inhumane. So yeah, the channel has taken off so much that I have decided I really just want to focus on creating change. So I'm going to be doing YouTube and more TikTok and more Instagram. And I'm going to start a movement. Of course, for this guy, everything I'm doing is for this guy right here. And for all of his little beagle cousins and siblings. Because no dog deserves to go through what he has went through. And I have firsthand seen his PTSD, like this guy's on Prozac. Literally he's on Prozac. You went to Prozac? He only gets Prozac at night. But it's time to make a change, so subscribe to this channel, subscribe to the TikTok, and we will see you again next week. Say bye! Bye!